Welcome back to General Hospital. Today, we're diving into some intense spoilers that might just shake Port Charles to its core. A leaked photo shows that Dex Heller, Avonhofer, our favorite rookie cop, may soon be fighting for his life. After his risky past working with Sonny Corinthos, Dex's new life as a police officer seemed like a step towards safety and stability. But it appears he's not entirely free of danger just yet, and his injury may impact more lives than just his own. A dangerous call. Dex Heller had always been the type to dive headfirst into whatever he did, and his job as a rookie on the Port Charles police force was no different. But the adrenaline that kept him alert in dangerous situations, as Sonny Corinthos, former informant, would now be needed on the other side of the law. When he joined the police force, he knew there would be risks. What he hadn't expected was that one ordinary night patrol would nearly cost him his life. The call came in late one night, and Dex was partnered with a seasoned officer, Detective Chase. They were called to an abandoned warehouse on the outskirts of town, a suspected drug deal gone wrong. But the situation escalated fast. Shots were fired, and in the chaos, Dex was hit. Chase managed to get him out safely, but Dex's injuries were severe. Anxious hearts at the hospital. The news spread quickly. By the time Dex arrived at General Hospital, Jocelyn Jacks, Eden McCoy, was already there, her heart in her throat as she rushed into the emergency room. She'd always known that Dex's job as a cop came with risks, but nothing had prepared her for the sight of him lying unconscious on a hospital stretcher, blood staining his uniform. Her hands shook as she reached for him, whispering, Come on, Dex. I need you to be okay. Unbeknownst to Jocelyn, Molly Lansing Davis, Kristen Veganos, had also heard the news. Over the past few months, she and Dex had become friends, finding comfort in shared conversations over coffee or the occasional drink. While their friendship was innocent, there had been moments Molly couldn't ignore, glimpses of her own feelings that surprised her. Now standing at the edge of the emergency room, her heart twisted in a way she couldn't quite understand. Secrets revealed. As Dex remained in critical condition, Jocelyn was rarely away from his side. However, she started to notice Molly around more often than she'd expected. Their shared worry over Dex's condition seemed innocent at first, but Jocelyn began to pick up on the tension in Molly's gaze and the way her voice softened when she spoke of Dex. One afternoon, Molly was sitting with Dex while Jocelyn took a quick break. As she sat by his bedside, Molly couldn't help but voice her feelings to him even though he was still unconscious. Dex, I don't know what I would do if, if you didn't pull through, Molly whispered, her eyes filling with tears. You've become so important to me, more than I ever thought possible. Unbeknownst to Molly, Jocelyn had returned just in time to hear those words. Her heart dropped. Confused and hurt, Jocelyn wrestled with the possibility that she might not be the only one who cared deeply about Dex. The mysterious threat at General Hospital. As Dex fought for his life, strange incidents began to occur around the hospital. Months ago, Lulu Spencer's ventilator had been mysteriously unplugged, nearly costing her life. And just recently, Sam McCall had suffered a sudden heart attack during her recovery a tragedy that had left poor Charles shaken. Now, rumors were spreading that someone in the hospital might be targeting patients. Dr. Finn, noticing the strange pattern, became suspicious and decided to investigate. His findings led him to a chilling conclusion. There was indeed someone lurking in the hospital, tampering with medical equipment and putting lives at risk. Meanwhile, Dex's condition worsened unexpectedly. Despite the best efforts of the medical team, he developed complications that couldn't be explained. Finn feared that Dex might be the next target. Unsettled by the thought, he pulled Jocelyn aside, urging her to keep an eye on Dex's room, 
and report any unusual activity. Jocelyn's concern for Dex was soon overshadowed by her worries about Molly's feelings. Desperate for clarity, she confronted Molly in the hospital cafeteria. Molly, be honest with me, Jocelyn demanded. What's going on between you and Dex? Molly's face went pale. Nothing. Dex and I are just friends, Joss. Jocelyn's voice softened. Friends don't say what you said at his bedside. I heard you, Molly. Just tell me the truth. Molly looked away, conflicted. I didn't mean for it to happen, Joss. It's just, Dex and I, we became close. But I swear, it was never anything more. Jocelyn's eyes filled with hurt. I just want to know if he has feelings for you, too. They stared at each other, a shared sadness lingering between them. Neither knew what the future held, but both were desperate for Dex to survive so they could confront these complicated emotions. A deadly encounter. Later that night, Dex's monitor began to beep erratically. Nurses rushed in, stabilizing him, but Jocelyn's instincts kicked in. She stayed by Dex's room, determined not to leave him unprotected. While sitting vigil outside his door, she caught a glimpse of a shadow moving down the hallway toward Dex's room. Her pulse raced. The figure, dressed in scrubs and wearing a surgical mask, slipped inside Dex's room. Jocelyn's heart pounded as she realized this could be the mysterious saboteur. Without thinking, Jocelyn pushed the door open and yelled, Get away from him. The figure whipped around and bolted, but not before dropping a siren that clattered to the floor. Shaken, Jocelyn called for security, her hand trembling as she held Dex's hand, whispering that he was safe now. A new beginning. With the would-be attacker caught and Dex stabilized, the hospital finally felt safe again. Dex eventually regained consciousness, his first sight being Jocelyn's relieved face as she held his hand. Beside her stood Molly, eyes brimming with tears. In his weakened state, Dex tried to make sense of the tension between them. Over the following days, Jocelyn and Molly both found moments to talk to Dex privately, sharing their fears, their jealousy, and their complicated feelings. Dex felt a swell of gratitude for both women and was honest with them, explaining that his heart had always been with Jocelyn, even if he hadn't fully understood the impact he'd had on Molly. I care about you, Molly, but Jocelyn is the one I love. He said softly, looking up at Jocelyn with a gaze full of unspoken promises. Molly accepted his words with grace, her heart aching, but knowing it was the right thing. Over time, their friendship evolved, each finding their own path. General Hospital always brings drama, and this time was no exception. With Dex recovering and the attacker behind bars, life in Port Charles could return to normal for now. But as we know, secrets and surprises are never far behind. Stay tuned to see what lies ahead for Dex, Jocelyn, Molly, and the rest of Port Charles in the ever-twisting world of General Hospital.